Let's get into some sound design tips using BandLab. And I'm using BandLab because this is something that pretty much everybody has access to, whether you're on Android or iPhone or iPad or even Windows computers. So let's create a new project and see what we can get into. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a virtual instrument track. And you'll see that we have a option of a bunch of different instruments and instrument categories. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know how to turn a simple sound from BandLab and turn it into something a little bit more inspiring, a little bit more modern or something more immersive and pleasing to the ear. So I'm gonna go for one of the most simple saws in here. Let's see, a sawtooth harp. Yep, let's go with that. So you'll see that we can't really, um, we can't really go into the instrument and tweak the voicing or anything like that. So, but we, what we can do is go into the effects and then we can scroll through the presets. And right off the bat, we already have a way different sound than what we started off with. So you can just scroll through the presets. That don't sound like nothing that we started off with. So let's say you want to start building on your own sound design. That's the sound that we started off with. Let's say you want to change the sound completely. Let's go into, so let's say you want to take out some of that high end. So let's go to a graphic EQ. And all you're gonna do is change, uh, turn these high frequencies down. And if you wanna turn it back up. Already you have changed the sound of your preset. Let's add a little bit of reverb to it. And so what we would do is go into the reverb tab and you have like three different reverbs. So you have the space maker, spring reverb and studio reverb. I like the space maker. Let's turn it into a large hall. Turn the mix up from 10%. To about 65, let's do 75%. That's cool, but I want this to kind of echo a little bit. So let's go ahead and add a delay. And uh, let's do a filter echo. Why not? Let's bring some feedback into it. And let's play around with the cutoff a little bit. And let's change the time uh, per beat measure that this will uh, this will echo. So if we do a half time. And 
and that's how you start changing and scoping the sound with the default presets inside of band lab uh, there are tons and tons of effects it helps to know what each effect does and when to use them but for getting started and just starting to create your own sound libraries getting familiar with the terminology of the different equalizers the phasers the filters reverbs that will go a long way in your sound design let me know if this helps hit that like button if this was useful and uh stay tuned for part two i'll see you guys in the next video peace